Let's talk about this manifestation madness that I want to clear up for people because this is extremely misunderstood. In the new era of social media, we've ushered in a lot of talking heads that don't know anything. They just spew a bunch of nonsense or incomplete information. People buy it, they run with it, and they start championing these people. Um, and then they just don't get any results in their life or they're having issues and they don't realize the very people and ideas that they're championing are the reason that they're stuck. So what do I mean by you don't manifest your life, you work for it? I want to make it very clear here because this is not an anti-religious or anti-spiritual type of video. It's not because there's a lot more at play than what meets the eye. There's a lot more to this world and the fabric of reality than people can even begin to imagine. So let, let, let's get into this. Specifically what I'm pointing at that I want to talk about is there's more than one piece to the puzzle. We've been taught for so long that you know, hey, you got to change your thoughts and you have to really think and, and picture things and visualize, which is true. However, that is one piece of the equation. If I sit here in this chair in my house and imagine getting a million dollar check in my mailbox, is it going to manifest there? No. If I sit there and visualize and think about how I want to change my character, the type of person I want to be, the personality I want to have, the belief systems that I want to ingrain within me, how I want to shape and mold my identity as a human being. If I just sit there and visualize it and think about it and even write it down, will that automatically bring it into creation and into fruition? No, it won't. You see, there's a bridge between the esoteric, the spiritual, whatever you want to call it, and the mundane, the physical. There's a bridge. And the way that we bring these things into reality is with that evil W word, work. That's how you do it. If I want to embody the character traits that I imagine, that I write down, and that I really deem as my goal to become a better person, guess what? When I go out there and interact and face the world, I need to start exhibiting those qualities and responding as such and work my way to finally create that over time. If I want to get that million dollar check in my mailbox, guess what? I'm going to have to deduce and reverse engineer the actions and things that I'm going to have to do in the mundane world in order to acquire it. It's not going to be fully manifested just in my mind. I have a visualization about the ideal uh, partner that I want or wife or whatever it is, right? For those of you who are seeking a relationship right now. That's not just going to pop up into your head because you have all these standards and you think, oh, I want this and I want that and I want that. You got to get your ass out there and interact with the opposite sex and then present the package that would attract that person, meaning you have to develop and change. So all this stuff, people forget that, dude, you got to go out there and work. You got to put in the time and effort and get the guidance and the help and things that you need. And this is why I've constantly preached to people, whether it's with me or your person of choice, if they're legit. Do the masterminds, do the trainings, do the events, do the coaching and do all that stuff because this is exactly the path that you need to take in order to create it because many of you have the initial idea or like there, there's no balance and harmony in the flow. And what I mean by the flow is this. You have input and then output, right? I got this infinity symbol to represent that. There's input, output, input, output. Many of you, too much input. You watch social media, you watch videos, right? You ingest a lot of stuff, you listen, but there's not enough outward action and implementation of things. You're like 80, 90% in, only 10% out. That creates a disharmony in that flow and that's why your life isn't where it wants to be and where you would desire it to be. You have to create that flow. And for most people, you need to severely flip it. Then eventually you'll kind of find an even ground. But there has to be massive action, massive facing of the world, and massive real work is what I'm talking about here. Because we can sit here, like for the realtors who follow me and the people who are business people, you can sit there and think and dream about what you're going to do all day. But if you're not actually out there putting in the work, talking to people, making connections, and building your business through those actual real daily activities, nothing's going to happen for you. And that's just the reality. So we need to accept that. So whether you're spiritual or not, whether you're religious or not, what I'm talking about applies. Why? Because I've done this in my life and have experienced it. I've witnessed it with so many other people. So it's a simple formula once you tap into it. I even made a post uh, on my Instagram and here on YouTube where I shared my, my, one of my old pictures when I was sitting in front of my GTR with my, with my suit on. I was just a young, hungry entrepreneur then. And all the things that I wanted back then, I have now and some. 
But how did I get it? By showing the world that I'm putting in work every single day. Not just with thought exercises, but with real, mundane, real world exercises, activities, priorities, and actions. That's as simple as it is. And until people toss away all the other nonsense and understand that this is a two-way street, that you have to sharpen the mind and your communication, your ability to visualize and do the vision boards and all that stuff where you meticulously plan and detail everything. Sure, that's important. And even people don't do that right. It's just like an afterthought. They don't really put that much time and effort into really what they desire and what they want. That's one. But the second one is, let's say you want to buy a Lamborghini or be a millionaire. Your real world action is going to have to equal that. And I would ask many of you who have this desire, oh, I want to be a six-figure earner, seven-figure earner. Are you really putting in that type of work? Because my guess is no. Because when I talk with many of you on a personal level, what you tell me is literally laughable, the amount of effort that you put in. You make this big stink like, oh, I'm working so hard. Then when you show me what you're doing, I'm like, dude, you're not working hard. That's like a sliver of effort. How does a sliver of effort feel like so much work to you? Well, it's emotional. But then we, we don't have a real grasp of where we're at and and a a true objective, right? When they ask me, you're getting the objective viewpoint. You think in your world that's a lot of work. The objective viewpoint from the teacher is it's not enough. So now we would have to work with you, figure it out, and then get to the next level. But that's going to require a lot of effort, training, and help. And people just don't want to do that. Or they sit without having that objective viewpoint teaching them and guiding them, and they think, man, I'm doing so much, but I'm not getting the result. Look, if you're not getting the result, you're doing something wrong, period. Because I've done it, I've replicated it for thousands of students at this point, and you should be able to get the result. So if you're doing something wrong, which is the case if you're not getting the result, you need to be able to identify it and change it. Maybe you haven't put in enough time yet, maybe your technique is off, maybe something is missing, a detail that you're not even aware of, because you don't know what you don't know until you need it. Because there's so much that you can't even see or perceive just like I couldn't 10, 11 years ago compared to now. So this is a really finicky subject for most people, but it's the reality. And you're going to have to step up and make some major changes if you really want to step into your greatness and a future that is worth having for you. Okay? So if you're looking for some additional help, you know, I do these free coaching sessions on YouTube um, that people jump on. I recommend you jump on that at least, but if you're interested in getting more coaching and training and guidance, I have the links in the description. You can go to my website and sign up. I have courses. I do one-on-one Zoom consultations. I can help you out if you really, really need it, but only if you're serious, right? Uh, I only deal with serious people and people who really want to make change and who are committed to growth. If you're just kind of on the fence or saying it just to say it, to try to appease me or someone else, don't waste your time, okay? Appreciate you guys tuning in. That's it for this one. Leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, share this video as well, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, peace.